What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. Today we've got a really big day because in the last episode we wrapped up our second gym battle and defeated our rival Will and are heading our making our way excuse me through the forest and all the way to Goldenrod City. I'm not going to do a team recap today. Nothing has changed since the last episode so we're just going to push on through. The only thing I will say uh two things one we need to get lover out front because we do have a potential encounter here uh to kick off the episode and then two i'm gonna swap into daryl and we're gonna do some switch training along the way against these trainers here at the beginning of the route because i want to make sure we get him leveled up now let's see what we've got Ooh, dude okay i actually really really like rapidash um little scary to stay in but we should be okay to at least get a sonic boom off uh, so I'm not terribly worried. Okay, cool. And then we are 100% swapping out into Varen, most likely. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's go into Varen here. Uh, let's make sure that we aren't just going to die to a bunch of embers. And we're just going to have to throw Pokeballs as is, I think, guys. Um, little scary, because I don't think we'll be able to catch it, but it's worth a shot. Um, uh, opposite gender. Are we opposite gender? We are. You know what, let's try the love ball. Somebody did recommend that we could have used the love ball on the scyther that would have helped. You're probably right, and I apologize. I missed it, and that's totally fine. We got Rapidash, wow, first shot. Um, okay, what a way to kick off the episode. Um, let's see, who do we want? <laughs> oh, I like that. Um, oh, I like that a lot. We're naming it TNT for TNT over on Patreon. TNT, thank you so much. Um, it looks like, I don't know who, what the actual name is of this person, but they're here as TNT, and I love that. So this is TNT. Uh, that would be a very apt name for um, like an electrode or something like that. Well, awesome. We have just kicked off the episode very strongly with a uh, really nice encounter, actually. Having a fire type in the PC is really good, I think. Um, we don't have any fire types at this point that I'm aware of or remember. <laughs> um, and so it's actually really nice to have that just in case we do have to swap something out for a fire type, we've got it. Uh, and Rapidash is a good one. I love Rapidash, 100%. Uh, making sure Daryl is out front here so we can get some experience on him. Uh, and part of me just wants to go for the tackles here and see how much this does. Oh, that does a decent chunk. Rage is a little scary though. go for another one rage does build of course every time we deal damage to it um but it looks like they're not interested in sticking around for that so that's okay <laughs> uh all right cool mm. i love a good cup of coffee in the morning this is cup number two and i love it um all right a hoot hoot oh uh obviously we're not gonna stand because this could have peck or something but uh again some free xp Let's go for it. Daryl is getting really, really close. Uh, there might be a chance that in this episode we could get uh, our evolution, which would be really, really fun, I think. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we do have some decisions to make. I mentioned that at the end of the last episode, uh, simply because there's so much to do. We've obviously, we'll see how long these trainer battles take us because there are a lot of them uh, at the start of this, but uh, if we can push through, we can certainly do Radio Tower, no problem. That only takes a few minutes, um, if that. And then we can probably just head on to the gym, honestly. Um, we've got some options. Why did I go into Powerhouse? I meant to go into Lever. Not that it really matters, but, like, that would have been a much easier KO. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just Powder Snow it. Get it out of here. All right, we did it. Daryl has to be close to level 19 now. Okay, Totodial, perfect. Daryl probably can just molly up this thing real quick and then we're good. I just want Daryl to get like some major boosts in stats and he does get that once you evolve it. Um, but like right now, he, he just sitting with this tackle and is not super happy with that. <laughs> that was a crit, that was pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Um, we're just gonna tackle. Cool. Then we got this. 
Not a problem. First trainer is down. We've got a new encounter. We're we're kicking things off strong in this episode, guys. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. Maybe that's foreshadowing. I don't know yet. It hasn't happened yet. But if it is, then man, I plan to set that up very well. <laughs> All right. Second trainer. Let's see what we got. Only one Pokemon. That's nice. Uh, and it's a Quillfish. So we very easily can go into Lover and take this thing out, which will absolutely get Daryl to uh, level 19. And then it's, I believe, only one more level. Hmm coffee is hot it's delicious but it's hot um we recently i don't know if we have many other coffee people here but we uh we always use like a french press for the longest time um and i really like using the french press it makes great coffee um but it didn't make enough coffee we had like a smaller sized french press so it wasn't necessarily making enough <laughs> Um, and so we'd go back for multiple cups and we'd either use like a Keurig or we'd have to do it all over again And I didn't feel like doing that and our coffee pot like our standard coffee pot just broke uh, It like overflowed and the the water intake for it was just like nope not doing it And so we had to we had to get rid of that and buy a new one Well, we bought one that's programmable so you can obviously like set when you want your next cup of coffee so like we set it for seven o'clock every morning and then that way we've got we got coffee when we wake up and of course it keeps it warm and everything and I will say this is a game changer for me because it's so easy to do and I love that um, and I'll be honest I didn't drink up or <laughs> I didn't grow up uh, or have much a uh, Moltres okay um, I didn't have much coffee in my like teenage years and stuff like that I wasn't a, a coffee drinker dude look at that sprite that is beautiful um, I just didn't really like coffee at the time um, but in my, I'll say old age for lack of a better term, I'm only like 28, but still, in my older age, um, I have learned how important coffee is. <laughs> uh, and so now I drink it basically, in fact, literally every day. Um, there's very rarely a day I don't drink coffee. And I'm glad because I love it. It tastes delicious. I drink it black. I don't like to mix it. Um, I will drink like a fancy, you know, I say fancy for lack of a better term, but just like a, a doctored up kind of thing. But it just doesn't taste as good. I don't know. I mean, it's it's good, but if I'm in the mood for a cup of coffee, I just want a cup of coffee. I don't want anything in it. Um, let's fight. I'm trying to fight most everybody here. Um, because again, we do want to get things leveled up and, and make sure that we're set up for this uh, gym battle. But so far we're doing okay. A Wooper. Look at how cute Wooper is. I'm gonna try and tackle, or we're gonna just miss, and that's fine. Um, we're gonna try one more time. Our special defense is probably like crap, isn't it? Please don't kill Daryl. Why did I do this? Oh, that's why. Still not gonna risk it, though. Let's go into... I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's give Martiz a shot. It'll take out a Wooper in one hit. Uh, let's also see really quickly. Okay, cool. All right. No, why? This is taking way longer than it should to kill a whooper. <laughs> it's fine. Confusion it. Get it out of here. Not a problem. Easy. <laughs> All right. Daryl getting some experience. Um, yeah, sure. This isn't going to give much experience, so we might be able to just, like, attack this thing with Daryl and be done. I just don't like risking Daryl because he's, his defenses are so crappy. <laughs> um, but we should be able to... Oh, man, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Well, we should be able to. We'll see. <clears throat> oh, no. Come on, Daryl, break through. That's so annoying to me. All right, we're going to give it... There we go. All right, Daryl, you earned it back. I love it. So close, too. Okay. Ooh, Kingler will be a good bit of experience, or at least it should. Level 13, let's go into Lover. Take this thing out. Um, like I said in the last episode, guys, our team is, like, super well-rounded at the moment. Um, Daryl is a bit of a weak link, but that is being fixed at the moment. Um, and once he has that fighting-type move, what that allows us to have is, again, that very solid core, but... 
a nice special attacker in Martiz uh, and Lover. Uh, some bulky mons in Steelix, or, or in, excuse me, in Mike and Lover. And then um, some decent, like, all-around attackers in in um, Daryl and Varen. So, like, we should be sitting pretty well at this point. Okay. Uh, last gym ba or last battle before we get to Goldenrod City, guys. Look at this. Just cruising through. At 10 minutes in, we are doing super well at this point. Oh, Magnemite. Hello, little lover. I would definitely name this little lover if I... <laughs> um, It's going to have Sonic Boom, I guess, isn't it? I think we just go in... <sighs> Mike's going to do, like, no damage, though. Uh, let's go into Martiz, and we'll, we'll confusion this thing. I just hope it doesn't, like, absolutely... Oh, come on. I hate that. That's so annoying. All right, let's just try. Come on, Martiz. Yes, Martiz. You are amazing, my friend. <laughs> it's not very effective. I know it was a crit, but, like, come on. That was also a crit. Um... I'm actually not going to risk here. Uh, if we hit ourselves and they have Sonic Boom or something like that, then that's just like easy death for Martiz, and I, I can't do that. And look at that. Easy switch in. All right. Rock Throw I don't think is effective really, but it should do okay damage. Yeah, there we go. All right. Daryl, you're so close. I think what we'll do is make a point of evolving Daryl first, but... We are going to hit the uh, the Pokemon Center before we do that, because cause if it's just an easy Pokemon, we'll just tackle it to death until we, uh, we get Daryl leveled up. Love that noise. All right. So nostalgic. All right. Let's, uh, let's head back down to this grass really quick. Before we do anything, we're evolving Daryl today, guys. It has to happen. We need to do this. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's really good. Um, what did we get? We got a Rapidash. Okay, I'm actually okay with Rapidash more so. Um, that fills a gap in our uh, in our missing typing. Uh, while Gyarados is very good, don't get me wrong, I'd be very happy to have it. Uh, I'm very happy to have Rapidash as well. This should easy one shot. It's four times effective. Done. Daryl, level 20. I think it's level 20 it evolves, otherwise we're just gonna keep moving forward. Yes, all right, here we go, guys. What are we getting? It's a Hitmonlee. Cool, I love Hitmonlee. Um, the only downside to Hitmonlee is he doesn't get the uh, like elemental punches that Hitmonchan gets, um, but that's okay. Also doesn't learn any moves, apparently. Um, we'll see if he can learn low kick really quick, but Let's look at the stats here. Still just tackle. Um, that attack is ridiculously strong. And special defense is pretty bulky. Uh, speed's good. Defense and special attack are pretty garbage. Steelix's defense is ridiculous. Um, this is just good all around. <laughs> I'm just looking at stats really quick. We haven't actually like done this very well, very much. So special defense is pretty good. Regular defense sucks. That's expected. Special attack is off the charts for Lever. Look at that, 57. Um, and then, of course, Varen is just super good, too. All right, dude, we got it. Uh, let's see if we can teach low kick here. I um, actually don't know if it's... Yeah, cool. There we go. Um, now we at least have a stab move on it uh, that should do a good bit of damage. And that's, that's kind of our team rounded out, guys. We have it exactly where we want it. Um, I'm gonna heal up one more time just to be safe. Not that we're really doing anything all that unsafe, but here we are. Um, the other thing we can do is there is the underground area that I believe we can go ahead and get to. So maybe we'll do radio tower first <clears throat> and then clear out some of that uh, if there is some stuff down there. I actually don't remember what all is down there, so that's gonna be, oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, it's down here. It's down here. This is the entrance, and I ignored it. Um, all right, let's hope that we can get all these questions correct. I think it's this lady we have to talk to. We have a special quiz. Yeah, this is it. 
All right, we have to answer these correctly. If we don't, if I don't answer these correctly, something terrible has to happen to me. And you have to tell it to me in the comment section. Can be displayed on the Pokegear. Yes. Did it. Nidorina, it can be female only. Yes. Two for two. Uh, no. All right. Yes. Okay, cool. I think this is no. Look at that. The clean sweep. Got it first try. We're so knowledgeable about specifically five questions. Um, all right, cool. We got the radio card. That was easy. Let's go and see what we can find <clears throat> down below here. Um, I think we go in here. What is this? I don't actually remember this building very much. Oh, this is the... Can we get... I'm curious. I'm very curious. Oh, we don't have a coin case. Meh. Um, all right, so that's, I believe, what we get in the little underground place. I'm wondering, do you still get, like, encounters and stuff like that <clears throat> uh, from the game corner? Because I don't know. Also, I'm just exploring a little bit because it has been quite a long time since I've played this game. Is this, like, yeah, okay. Don't care about that. All right. Let's go down here. It's weird that they built a building just to do this. All right, we're gonna fight our way through this and that will probably round out our episode. Uh, and then next episode we can hit the gym and hopefully not die. Cheers. Oh yeah, we got Daryl out front. All right, Daryl, let's go. Uh, let's try a low kick. Let's just see what happens. That does nothing. Well, it's not very effective. I shouldn't say it does nothing. Look at Daryl's sprite. It looks like somebody's thumb has a growth. Like, that's so funny looking to me. All right. Tentacle is down. I like it. Daryl is here, guys, in full-fledged mode. All right, Venonat. Let's swap out. Let's go into... Let's go into Martiz. I want to get Martiz trained up. I think that's kind of the next goal, uh, <clears throat> to learn Psybeam, because once, once Martiz knows Psybeam, like... All bets are off, man. Uh, Martez is just so good. All right, 192. Martez also levels up relatively quickly considering um, how powerful Martez is. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's put you out front. Daryl is now technically the strongest member of our team, which is weird to say, um, but here we are. All right, let's do it. Paris, cool. That'll die to confusion. No problem. Actually don't know what level Psybeam is learned by Kadabra, so we're gonna learn that together. Oh, didn't one shot. Okay. Wow, our defense is terrible. <laughs> it's a Paris at level 13 and it did that much. Um, granted it didn't get anywhere close to killing us. I'm just saying like that was a lot for a a scratch from a Paris. <laughs> okay. Trainer Mia has been defeated. Love it. This should be the coin case. Yeah. Um, again, I don't know. I'll look in between episodes and we'll see if we can get um, a, uh, a free encounter from the, from the game corner thing. All right. Ursa ring. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna try and just stay in and confusion it. It is a physical attacker, so we do have to be a bit careful. I'm more worried about bite than anything else. I don't know if it learns bite, but we should one shot. Yeah. Look at that. That's so good. Uh, a Steelix. I'll swap out into Varen. Let's be, let's be fair. Um, Varen is really what we would use to take this thing down, and it's so easy to that with Varen that we just have to. Uh, sorry, Mike, we're gonna kill you with some water. I'm gonna squirt a little water in your face and you're gonna be like, oh my God, and then that's it. And that's, that's, that's essentially how Pokemon works. <laughs> All right, Machamp, now we do go back into Martiz. 
This is, again, though, another area where Powerhouse comes into play because Powerhouse does take care of fighting types. So if, if we were in a situation where level was a bigger factor, then I would go into Powerhouse over Martiz simply because I don't know if Martiz would one-shot or not. Obviously, in this case, not really a problem. But something to think about. A Seeking, we will easily stay in. Um, this thing is more physical than anything, but, I mean... It's a level 10 Seeking, we're a level 19 Kadabra, and it's just going to use Tail Whip, so that helps. Alright, Martiz getting to level 20. I like it. Look at that. Can we learn Side Beam yet? Nope. Alright, that's fine. Awesome. And this should be the last trainer. After this, guys, we are going to head back to the Pokemon Center, uh, and... Probably just heal up and then call that an episode, but this has been a really productive one. Uh, we've gotten a good bit done today. I'm really happy with it. We should be able to confusion this and just get it out of here. Um, truthfully, we should have gone into Daryl for this, but like, it's a Togepi. <laughs> Metronome is a bit scary though, I'm not gonna lie. You just never know. Pupitar, we will swap out uh, into Varen here. Again, another type coverage for us, though, because um, Daryl does help us against these kinds of Pokemon as well. So, like, we've just got type coverage for days, and I love that. We've always got, it seems like we've always got an option. I'm sure that's not the case. We will find a situation where we don't, but I think we don't have, like, a good... Like, Martiz is good against Ghost, but Ghost is also good against Martiz, and I don't like that. I'd love to have a dark type. Um, but unfortunately that's just not the case. What does this guy give us? Does he give us anything? Oh, name raider. Nope. I don't want you to rate my nicknames. They're perfect because they're patrons. Don't even question. Don't even try. All right, let's go heal up guys and let's finish off this episode. I really do appreciate the support on these videos. It really does mean a lot. I know this is different for us. It's not magic content, but it is really fun. Um, and I'm having a great time doing it. I hope you guys are having a good time hanging out with me. And for those patrons who are on the squad, I hope you're having a good time molly whopping everything in existence because you are doing a fantastic job. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. Make sure to like and share this video if you did enjoy it. We really do appreciate that. And I will see you guys very soon for another episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. I'll see you guys soon.